Over 30,000 runners are lacing up for the 26-mile Boston Marathon, and joining the ranks tying his laces is 82-year-old Jim Green. I feel like a boy again. The Marblehead native is the oldest Massachusetts participant, but that's not the title he holds close to heart. In 1960, Jim placed third in the marathon. So it showed I have endurance and speed. Traits that have given Jim Green the fuel and confidence to see even greener days. This duck toe styled runner finished second in the 1959 Pan American Marathon and 26 days later, fourth in the first international marathon in Korea. So with that background, I expected to run well at Boston, which I did. For Jim, running is much more than just a sport. You feel like you're really alive. I mean, that you're, you're, everything is working well, the blood is flowing, the heart is beating strongly, and uh, it's just a wonderful feeling. To prepare for his second marathon in 18 years, Jim trained for six months. You'll be stretching this way. Make sure your shoulders are loose because when you run, you don't want to tighten up in the shoulders. I would do a lot of push-ups. In one session, I did 700 push-ups. Yes, at 82, he's still pushing the limits. I can barely get up now. <laughs> or trying. I love this uh, feeling of excitement and challenge. I love, the, I love the idea of you lining up with all these people to run another marathon. Another marathon that this octogenarian says is not just about reaching the finish line, but also about honoring his fellow runners who have passed. I feel in part like I'm running for them uh, because I know if they were alive, they'd be out here uh, running to the limit. Jim's heart of gold and love for running are contagious, inspiring runners young and old. After eight decades of running, Jim is not slowing down. Though this may be his last marathon, he is determined to keep running, racing against the clock to the finish line. For BU News Service, I'm Noelia Valero.